Welcome back to Midnight Who Extra, and today we're going to be taking a look at another Funko Pop, and this time it is of Ghost Rider. And this is, of course, on his motorcycle. This is, of course, part of the Pop's ride line, number 33. And, yeah, it's really cool. It's a PX Previews exclusive, which means you can find it at your local comic book shop, or sometimes you can find a site online that also sells it. Now, this is not the first Ghost Rider that Funko ever produced. The first one has been since vaulted so that one's a little bit harder to find so i'm really happy to see that funko made this new version and i think this actually might be better than the original because they put him on his motorcycle and the detail is amazing the motorcycle is highly detailed i think they did a great job kind of sculpting it and the head sculpt on this pop looks amazing you can see all the ridges of the teeth the nose the you know the indents on the eyes they did a fantastic job sculpting, and the hair. The hair is amazing on it. It has like an orangey, yellowish kind of thing, and there's not too much kind of paint kind of problems with it. They also have the same kind of effect to various parts of the motorcycle bike. I will say, though, it could have been maybe translucent. Yeah, that would have kind of been a little bit cool to have a little translucent flame to it, but I still think it looks really cool nonetheless. Now, of course, one hand is on the motorcycle, and the other hand is holding a chain, and he's kind of driving around kind of thing. And what's really cool, and the chain kind of also wraps around the body of the pop. The body of the pop's very simple. It's just pretty much, you know, very, it's just basically his black costume that he wore with chains around it. So very simple. You can kind of see some indents of the jacket on there, so that's kind of cool. And of course, it does bobble. Because it is a, of course, a Marvel Funko Pop. So Marvel and Star Wars does bobble. I will say, though, the front of the bike is a little bit loose on there. I don't know if it's just mine. But, yeah. And, of course, it really looks cool right when you display it. So, yeah, there you go. There's the Pop of Ghost Rider. I really think this is an awesome addition to the Pop kind of rides line. And even the Pop Marvel line. Because Ghost Rider on his bike needed to happen. And I'm glad they did it. So overall, I would definitely recommend this pop if you find it in one of your local comic book shops or even online and pick it up because it is really cool, especially if you're a Ghost Rider fan. So that's it for tonight. I really hope you enjoy this little quick little video and I'll see you guys in the next one.